I feel like it was angled directly into my eyeballs where it was sort of hitting Jamie in the back of the head. So thank God they didn't go too close because I just look cross-eyed with it. I mean, um, Jamie and I are both wildly allergic to farm animals, which I don't think we'd told anyone of when we decided to play farmers. So we were both sort of antihistamined up to our eyeballs most of the shoot. Um, but we shot on a real farm, and so I remember shooting a scene with Christopher Walken, and we had to stop shooting because a herd of cows were just being sort of like, just walking through the back of our shot, like about a hundred cows, you know. That was the cool part, that to actually shoot on a working farm, you, you were completely transported to this most beautiful part of Ireland. And, but we were um, covered in hives for most of the shoot. Yep, no, uh, no bigger animal than uh, John Hamm. <laughs> We did pre-record the songs, but then we ended up just using the live version because I think John Patrick Shanley just felt it was great to, for it to sound imperfect. It shouldn't sound perfect. It should sound like you're singing in a bar. So we ended up rather terrifyingly just singing it live and that's what he used, which is quite scary. But um, I think it's good that it doesn't sound like a studio recording. I can't. John, John Hamm actually dubbed him for that scene. Um, John Hamm is a great singer. It's terrifying, you know. Uh, uh, that was also our first day um, <clears throat> with Emily and I. And the first interactions, uh, the second interaction we had on, on, on that day together was, was singing in front of all these people. So uh, it was definitely scary. And um, there was incredible actors in front of us. But, all the extras and some of the crew who had all made their way out the front uh, and obviously the whole camera team and everything. So it was very daunting. And of course I'm singing, you know, I start singing alone, which is, is pure terror. And then I'm joined by someone who can sing much better than me and Emily. So it was, it was a brutal day all around really. Well, he did and it was terribly moving and I think that's the funny thing about Christopher is that everyone does these sort of larger than life impersonations of him he's one of the most impersonated people in the world but he's you, we mustn't ever forget how fragile and beautiful he is as a person and he's, he's quite delicate as a person actually and so in the scene I am supposed to he is supposed to cry but he did it so readily that I honestly couldn't even look at him because I thought I was going to cry. You know, he's he's so moving in the scene. Well, it's kind of amazing getting to shoot. I mean, we shot that end scene quite early in the schedule as well. So we were sort of like thrown into the deep end of like this epic romantic <laughs> scene. So in between takes, we were in this tiny caravan with like tin foil blankets on us. It was very unglamorous looking, but but I kind of loved filming in the rain. It was so, <laughs> it was a rain machine. So it was like very violent rain. And I feel like it was angled directly into my eyeballs where it was sort of hitting Jamie in the back of the head. So thank God they didn't go too close because I just look cross-eyed with it. But it was sort of added to the momentum of that scene. It was really exhilarating to, shoot like that i mean and then we were freezing and then it became less exhilarating but i don't know i think we honestly had so little time on this film we shot it in about four and a half weeks and so whether it was shining or the rain was pissing down we were shooting like there was no amount there was literally no time to wait for the weather to change so we just we'd been told by john patrick shanley at the beginning like it doesn't matter what the weather's doing we will be filming like no matter what we don't have time so it was sort of wonderful and out of our control and actually probably what it is like in Ireland where it's the sun shining and then it's raining the next minute and then it's shining again. And I think it all looks very much true to what life is like there. Uh, one too many. I think if I went in uh, three times maybe. Um, <laughs> I can't what that water was a day um, and I was wearing a you know, wetsuit, I think, underneath that uh, whatever caper I had on there. Uh, certainly from the from a distance from, from the wide, I was wearing something else. So, yeah, it's fine. Like, you know, I'm, I've, uh, I've probably been, been through worse. So, um, it was a very fun shoot, no matter what we were put through. <laughs>